So I had planned on going for a walk today, but my last walk ended up in really hurt foot that is still really hurting to walk on today. So instead, I'm just chilling out here in the backyard, at least trying to get a little bit of sun. I was thinking about the different YouTube reactions I watch and a lot of them seem to have one thing in common and that's that people exaggerate their reactions to things. Maybe exaggeration is the wrong word but they are very very expressive. Maybe some people are just that expressive but I don't know if I'm if I'm like that. That's why I was hoping to find a, a recording partner who who could be so I'd be the quiet one. But as it looks like I'm going to have to proceed alone, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, maybe it means that I'll never get many followers and that's, that's fine. I'm not doing this just for followers, although that's, that, that is like part of the goal. Um, I'm doing this to practice my own self-expression. You know, I've always been pretty good at expressing myself in writing because I've been good at planning things out. You know, so I planned out what I was going to write and then I wrote it. But as far as speaking extemporaneously, not so great at it. Just thinking about it reminds me of back when I was in high school. I was on the speech team for, I think it was two years. I tried and I was really bad at it, even though I had a little time to plan. I don't know. I guess I just have never really enjoyed public speaking or speaking in front of people, even though recent experiences have made me more comfortable with it. So yeah, that's kind of the other reason I'm doing this, to get better at it, to try to develop a taste for it, to grow as a storyteller, um, to explore my, my nonfiction side. You won't catch me doing poetry on here though. I used to write a lot of poetry back in high school, but it was usually about like a girl. It was really bad and it was really sappy. I'm gonna be teaching poetry as part of the creative writing class later in the fall. And it occurs to me that poetry, even though it's not necessarily intended to be read out loud, it's, it's, um, it is sort of intended to be spoken and not just read. And that's why things like rhyme and meter are such huge elements of it. All this to say that this YouTube thing is an opportunity that I've long overlooked to improve myself. And whether I have a few followers or a lot, I appreciate anybody who's watched this and seen me try to grow. Anyway, like I said, I'm still hoping by the weekend, which is just a few days away now, to do my first actual reaction video. I have like a short list of shows that I am going to, to pick from. I still haven't quite nailed it down. I might, I might go for something contemporary or something, something a little bit older. We'll see. We'll see. I guess um, everybody's going to be surprised, myself included. Anyway, thanks again for listening. Thanks again for watching.